All right, fam, so what we got going on today, actually today is what, December 26th day, Christmas 2023. Me and Cal are getting after a leg day. So we've already done hamstring curls, which I didn't record. Then we got RDLs, now we're doing safety bar squats, uh, cannonball style. So Cal, tell my vlog a little bit about your training style, because they know that I'm like all about the heavy ass weights. I'm uh, all about lifting is flexing with weights. So when I see people doing 405, where they're just bouncing in and out of the hole, it looks cool, but what are you actually doing? You're not doing much if you're trying to build muscle, so you'll see today that, like when Chris is going, he's going super slow, he's pausing in the hole, and momentum is the biggest killer of hypertrophy, so when he's in that hole today, he's not gonna be doing this. Because, sure, you get some quad stimulation out of that, but you're more just bouncing your hamstrings off your calves, so notice during the set, he's literally stopping the hole, and exploding only with his quads. And how many, we were doing what, like two? We're doing two sets to the death. Like if Chris isn't like semi-gagging by the end of the set, he kind of did yeah, the RDLs, the RDLs got me. And they, they missed, the hamstring curls were really intense. I, sets of 20, but not like flinging it, like squeeze, let it out nice and slow, stop from the dead stop, squeeze. So we went nice and slow, and then a couple of forest reps in there too. Yeah, we're, so We're trying to make light weight as heavy as possible. That's same. all we're doing there. Trying to get back there. Let's go, Chris. Come on. Yes, sir. Slow. Slow. Good. Yes, sir. Come on. Feel it. Good, bro. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on. Keep going. Good, slow. That's it. Yes, sir. Come on, rebrace and go. Let's go, brace. Two more, two more, two more. Those grabs are fucking killing his hands. Come on. I know. Come on, Chris. One more, one more. Come on, Chris. Yes, sir, one more. Go, go. Good. Slow down. Slow. Good shit, bro. That's all I got for you. Yes, sir. That was nasty, though. Those were good ass reps. Good shit, bro. That was it. That was the set, bro. Hey, boy. Slow, let's go. Yup, let's go. Come on, three more. Two more, let's go. Fight it. Good. Come on, don't, don't let me beat you. Let's go, one time. That a boy. Good. That pause, all quad, nothing else. Yes, sir. That's it, Chris. Beautiful. Because I feel like it's the RDL. Probably. Uh, you think you're good? We set it on that. You got it. I love this little camera, bro. She's.
Damn, that's everything I got. Like I said, I'm fucked up. He's trying to fucking do 315 like it's nothing, so. What's that called? Oh, I have four more. No. There's always five more. Tom Platt oh. said it best. There's always five more. I couldn't breathe. Bro, another thing I'm noticing is like I go from not sweating to after one of these sweats or one of these sets, I'm literally, it's like pouring off me. Oh. Literally one set. One set. What's going on fam? December 30th, 2023 and as you can tell I am sick right now um, but I'm taking the time, some downtime to edit this vlog with, with Cal the other day or training footage and I'm just reflecting on it and I wanted to fill you guys in on kind of what we did. So as you guys know usually I'm like a six to seven movement leg day guy. Most of my sets like on the heavy compounds are like anywhere in the one to five rep range and then in my accessories it's more five to eight. So what Cal put me through was something completely different. We started with a hamstring curl. Um, we did some warm-up sets. And then we had two working sets of what ended up being like the full stack for like 20. And not just like 20 flinging it around reps, but like pause, controlled, pause at the bottom, pause at the top, very under control of the weight. And then once we hit failure, we did like three or four more like uh, force reps where he helped me. So it ended up being like two sets of 25 and my hamstrings were on fire. Then we went to the RDLs, worked up to a heavy set. Both of us did 405. Um, same thing, very slow, controlled, pause. We only did one top set. Literally, like we warmed up. That 405 was the set. That was like the money making set, everything we have. When we did the safety bar squat, his top working weight was 405, mine was 315. And what we did was we took that to absolute failure. Um, again, slow and controlled. And then we did a back off set, another set all the way all the way all out to failure and that was with for him 315 and me to 225 sorry i'm not making any sense my uh i'm sick but anyways um then we turned around and did uh the leg press and we did like very slow controlled on the way down pause at the bottom and then explode up and he was really encouraging me to get super deep with it um super controlled um Again, not exactly what I'm used to. So I think I worked up to like seven or eight plates on both sides with a top set. Um, and then we did a back off. We ripped two plates off and did another set there. Again, all out failure. My ears after the leg press were actually like ringing. Like I thought I might pass out and die. Uh, the intensity. And I think that overall, like the entire workout was seven working sets on our legs. So that's it. Four movements, seven hard ass sets. And... I was literally like shaking the rest of the day. It was one of the hardest workouts I've ever done. And I have to give credit to Cal for not only putting me through the work, but pushing me because he knew um, that I had that dog mentality and that he could get me to do five more when he said five more. Or whatever he said, I was going to fucking do, or at least give it everything I fucking had. So um, training at that kind of level is really hard because it's super uncomfortable. It fucking sucks. 
Um, but it's really more about the mind and just pushing through the pain and digging deep and finding that extra um, push. And then we went on and did a couple uh, bicep movements just for the hell of it. Um, this is my first time actually working out with Cal. I know that he's a beast. He lives down in Florida. He trains at a very, very elite gym. IFBB pros train there. Um, so he's very knowledgeable, um, very enthusiastic, and he's a fucking animal, super fucking strong. So um, this was a great experience for me and something that I will be trying to implement more into my own routine, uh, taking some of, it, of his advice and wisdom. And uh, I'm actually really excited to see where his potential takes him. I think he's 21, 22 years old. Um, he might even be 20. I'm sorry, Cal, I forgot, but he's young and he's got a lot of potential, especially in the bodybuilding world, um, with his work ethic, his consistency, his drive. So excited to see where he goes and, um, yeah, excited for another opportunity to train with him in the future. So we will catch you guys in the next vlog. I'm going to wrap this one up and actually start a brand new one. Um, heading out, closing out the year. I just want to recap some things. So we will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.